transferring your Foundry world from one machine to another or onto the cloud like the Forge is super easy. The first thing you'll need to know is where you have the files saved. The easiest way to do this is if you're in Foundry, go to the Configurations tab under User Data Path. You can see the area path for where your files are saved. If that's not easy enough, then while also having Foundry open, if you right click on the icon, you can then click Browse User Data and it will open up the folder for where you have the file saved. If you're wanting to upload it to the Forge, just copy that file path. If you're transferring it to another machine, then those are the files that you need to transfer over. It's primarily the data file that you're going to wanna to move, but you can move that entire folder over. If you're transferring it to another machine, you literally just drag and drop it and then go back into Foundry and go to the user path and then adjust that to reflect where you have saved it to. If you're transferring it to the Forge, what you will do is once you are logged into the Forge, you will go to the Games Configuration tab, and then at the top left, you will click Summon Import Wizard. From there, you'll click on Local File. You will paste that file path into the search bar, hit Enter, and then click Upload. Your browser may prompt you and ask if this is a trusted site because you're about to upload a lot of data to it. You'll hit Agree or Upload or whatever uh, the prompt says and then you'll click to analyze files. The process of analyzing the files goes pretty quickly and then it'll give you an outline of everything it's gonna pull in. Then at the bottom, you can select import all. The importing process will take a little bit longer, so uh, make yourself some popcorn or get a snack or something and then come back and it should be done. Once it's finished, your data folder will now be under what they call assets library and that's where you'll go to manage your files and if you wanna upload new maps or images, that's where you can go to do that. It's pretty intuitive and simple to use so I'm not going to go into it. And that's all I have. If you have any questions, let me know and if not, I will see you next time. Thanks.